This is something new for me. It's so different. I've never experienced anything like this. People are aged probably like 68 to 70 down to probably seven. They have something within themselves that's important. I mean, it's their heart. It's all different types of art. You know, we're just here to have fun, put a smile on our faces and other people's faces. And get excited and stimulated. Just so pleased that something like this in Seattle exists. To me, art is like breathing. Without it, we'd have a black and white world. It's part of the soul of people. It reminds them they have a soul. The arts feeds the soul. All these dancers just go flying by me. And without it, we can't, we can't indulge in happiness. That's really how we celebrate life. It's life. It's like all around us. It's, it's everything. Art's everywhere. Every little thing that we make or design has to be created by somebody. There's this creative explosion in our society, but it's not traditional. It's not where we tend to think of as arts organizations that it should be happening. So many groups may not have a voice or a way to showcase their, their art or their community. What I feel like as an arts community that we failed on is that we have kind of created all these barriers to arts participation. You know, we've been dealing with all these issues of Lack of funding, lack of audiences, since the dawn of time, I feel like, since I got into the arts, we've all been talking about this. And I feel like little has been done to actually change that. We're doing the same thing over and over and over again and wondering why people don't come. The real answer to this question is making the community feel ownership over our institutions and our work. What we want to do is um, kind of break down that wall and connect what we're doing to kind of the everyday creativity that everybody has. Arts Crush is a month-long celebration of the arts. Every single day uh, in the city of Seattle during the month of October, you can uh, go to see a dance performance. You can see a Bhutto dance performance. You could see um, a play. You could go out and see a poetry reading. You could see um, a, a novelist. I mean, you could, there, there's just so many things to sort of like really explore the artistic community uh, in Seattle and, and realize how you're not just a spectator, you're a participant. And to bring people in, in the hopes that, you know, working with these people, getting them creatively involved in the work of these organizations and artists, that it starts to affect the work that these organizations do. I like to think of the motto of Arts Crush as giving arts back to the people. Like, this is our way to actually give over the work to you so that it belongs to you. It doesn't belong to us as artists. This is for them. We do this for them. It's all about us kind of working together and creating something together and forging community. It isn't just about them sitting and watching something that we've told them is important. It's about them sharing the experience and help dictating what that experience is. And so it's about serving underrepresented groups and giving them a voice, which art can do in and of itself, but then you also need places where that art can be and where it can be celebrated and to get people to come and see it. And Arts Crush is a great way to reach new people. There is this sense of elitism that arts isn't for me, it's for these people that are you know, somewhere else and doing other things. It's too expensive or it's just not accessible and I think there's a group of a whole group of society that's just being missed. The people need to have a way to express themselves, to express their voice, their culture. It's definitely a great way to get the arts out to the more, um, the, the younger uh, group, the, the video game and computer playing kind of people. Arts Crush is trying to make it more accessible in an interesting way so you think about it differently. Honestly, I feel like as it grows, what's going to start happening and what we're going to encourage to happen is that the community actually creates events themselves. That it isn't just arts organizations and artists dictating this, but we open it up to just individuals, you know, different groups of people that aren't related to the arts to say, what do you want to do and how can we help you make it happen? Um, so it isn't just about arts organizations, but it's about the whole community. I love it. I love doing Arts Crush. I love the arts. I love Seattle. And I think Arts Crush is just a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for people to get out there and explore new things. Helping people look at the world in a much more creative, vibrant way. It's, 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 it's brilliant.